Hey there and welcome to my channel, my name is Rocco. Uh, before we, we go on with this video, I just want to say a really big thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel over the last couple of months. I've hit 100 subscribers. Dear me, dear me, I never thought I'd get 10. Uh, so a big, big thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Uh, it's really, really appreciated. And a big call out to anybody who's maybe watching this who hasn't subscribed yet. Let's see if we can get the 200 quick, eh? Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. Uh, so big, yeah, big, big thank you to everybody who has subscribed and everybody who was just about to. So what is it that we're going to be doing today then? Uh, well, quite simply, one word, boobs. Or more accurately, the way that clothing drapes naturally over breasts when applying D-Force, uh, a D-Force modifier to it. Now, I've already done a couple of videos on D-Force. If you haven't seen them yet and you're not quite sure what D-Force is, then you can see a little link up there in the top right of the screen. Uh, check them out if, if you're a bit uh, lacking in the understanding of what D-Force is and then come back and watch this one. For those people who do know D-Force, carry on watching. And this is just a little technique that I use just to make sure that clothing drapes naturally. Now, as you can see, we've already got a model loaded into our scene here. It's the new Cellini uh, model that's just come out, a new range from Daz. Uh, you can pick it up either as a single model or in the usual starter bundles or pro bundles. Uh, we've dressed her in a, a little nightgown and we've also put some hair on the top of her head. You can get all the links to all the assets used in this video down below in the description. Uh, so make sure you check Cellini out. She's a pretty good model. Now, as we take a look at... Uh, the bottle we can see if we just zoom in a little bit here that this nightgown that she's wearing doesn't exactly fit well around the breast it looks as if it's just molded on uh, and the reason for that is that when the auto fit works on uh you know clothing when you apply them to models it tends just to try to squeeze them on there as best that they can and so it, it's almost like shrink wrapping that they do uh, and you can see here that that's not a great example when we look at uh, her breasts if I can say that without people jumping on me uh, now these days content creators are getting better and better to make and sure that these uh, items of clothing fit but there's still some that crop up uh, where you get examples like you can see here where you know it just seems all molded uh, but also all the clothing as well if you use it, which, you know, certainly if you're using something which wasn't designed for D-Force, you can get a lot of these effects. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show a couple of little techniques that we can use to make sure that all that drapes naturally over our model. Now we already have D-Force set up on this uh, nightgown that Selena is wearing. Uh, so what I'm going to do first of all, I'm just going to run a, a thing that we would normally naturally do with our simulation. I'm just going to run it on current frame uh, and we'll just see what happens with the uh, with a nightgown over the breast when we just do it on current frame. Uh, I'll get back to you when this is completed because it might take a, a minute or so to do. I'll see you in a moment. So as we can see there, things don't really seem to have improved that much if we just come zooming in. It doesn't seem to improve that much when we've just done the uh, the simulation on the current frame. Uh, not improve that much at all. Uh, so can we do better? Well, yes, we can. And the, one of the ways that we do better is we apply a simulation over the course of the uh, an animated, say, 30 frames, an animation of 30 frames. But the key to it is that in animation frame one or zero, uh, we need to make the breasts as small as possible and so that over the course of the 30 frames of the animation, the breasts grow into the item of clothing so that everything works naturally. We'll see We'll see as it goes on, as we'll see. But yeah, if we were just to spin uh, around and have a look down, that's not very, very good at all. Uh, another thing as well, while I'm here, a quick top tip. If you're ever going to be using... Uh, force for anything that you do what you want to do is you want to come up and just remove the hair during the simulation because it slows everything down that shouldn't have took over a minute there to do that it slows everything down so take the hair off or anything remove anything from the the scene that isn't going to get simulated because it'll speed things up a little bit for you so if we just pop back to the the standard view uh and we'll get about what we're going to do next so yeah what we're going to do then we're going, if we come down under the timeline uh, and we come down to the zero frame 
at the bottom of the time timeline you can see our carriage just stood in a standard a pose uh, what we need to do is we need to flatten the breasts as much as possible uh, on on this frame now what i've got i've got a little uh if i just select our character i've just got a little uh couple of little morphs just to reduce the breast size so on frame zero i'll just reduce the breast down next to almost zero so that she's almost got as, as flat a chest as possible uh, again if we just sorry i shouldn't be zooming in and out all the time if we just come down we can basically see the effects of that uh, as we reduce the breast size if you don't have any morphs that can do that it's it's no bother because all that you really need to do is to come into uh, on the shapes panel uh, click on chest I'll just get rid of that and there's a lot of uh, little things you can you can put in here that can change uh, the sizes of the breast I mean so you can just work on breast small or other little morphs in there that will just allow you to have you know to do the same thing uh, but I'm using a, a, a standard morph if you've got them yourself then you know use them yourself the one I'm using I can't remember where I got it from I've had it so long I can't remember where I got it from. I think it's by Anna Gord or, or somebody like that. Uh, but yeah, so what we're going to do, we, we're going to reduce the uh, breast down to as small as possible. And then, uh, you know, we're going to run the simulation from that point. And what will happen if we, if we just come through each of the frames, not only is she moving into position, but you can see her breasts are growing into the the clothing and what DeForce will do in the simulation it will simulate every frame so that we give a more natural a more natural look so if we just spin around up top just so that we can look down so we can see that what's happening uh, on those breasts what we'll do I'll set off a, another simulation remember that we've got to move current frame onto animated frame for the to, so as it goes through the 30 animation frames and we'll just watch from this angle what happens to the clothing just as her breasts grow into it and deforce is applying uh, its simulation to every single frame this might take a couple of minutes maybe not so long now i've took the hair off it might take a little couple of minutes just to, to simulate through but what i'll do i'll get back to you when it's done and we'll have a look at the results i'll see you in a moment So as we can see, when we take a look then at the the way that the uh, the dressing gown, the, the night the nightgown, whatever it's called, has uh, draped now over the breast, you can see it's all looking a whole load more natural compared to our previous example that we did. Uh, I'll try and put a quick side by side up on the screen here so you can see the difference uh, in what we've got. And of course, all that is much more natural. It's it's much better to look at. Uh, and it's a bit more realistic and doesn't look as lumpy as what the previous example did uh, so what we'll do uh, now is I'll just do a quick uh, a quick render for you just so you can see the final results I'll do it from a couple of different angles as well so uh, there you go as you can see on the little render that I've done uh, you can see everything looks natural everything looks you know as as you think it should look uh, and all you do as, as I've already mentioned is just put on frame zero as flat a chest as possible and by frame 30, just have the breast grow into the, the pores and into the T-shirt that they're wearing or the clothing that they're wearing. And that's the way I do it. And that's that's probably the best way to do it, to get it natural. It takes a little bit of extra time, but uh, it's worth it when you come to the, the end results. Uh, so anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've got something out of this video. Uh, if so, please give us a like down below and share the video around to everybody. Uh, and if you've got any questions or any comments on this, then drop them in the, 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 the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. As I've already said, again, big thank you to everybody who's already subscribed. It's much appreciated. Uh, you've helped me get to 100, which I never thought I'd ever get to, but thanks for that. And for anybody who's not yet subscribed, hit the subscription button down below and the notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos uh so thanks a lot for watching again like i say i hope you've liked this video and i hope you've got something out of it and what i'll do is i'll see you next time bye bye now